back, we've just been working on the layout elements of this Blue Apron landing page. So now we're going to start with the content. So I've, I've saved some of the images that I need. Like I said, we'll be doing quite a bit of duplicating in that. And then once you know how to do uh, um, make the sections yourself, you can just uh, practice further on putting the exact text and image content where it needs to go. But for now, let's just make sure we get the structure down and you know how to uh, put in this content, okay? So the top section we have first, uh, well, let's put in the background image just by selecting the entire section. And we've done this a few times. So go to image, I need blue apron. And this is our background image, okay? Make sure that when we put a background image in, it's always properly aligned from the beginning. It just kind of helps everything else out while that's loading in there. Okay, taking a little while. Try selecting that one more time. Okay. Well, let's let it load, and I'll start putting the, the logo in and everything like that. So image general tab, find the blue apron logo. There we are. We're going to want to center that. Sorry, select the block then I can center it. Select the image and I want to change the size. Okay. Okay. So it's not mini thinking maybe small. That looks okay. Once we get everything else a little bit bigger then. uh, we can work on getting it exact. So I don't know why we're not getting our background image here. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I guess it just takes a few tries sometimes, but okay, so we've got that. As I mentioned, we need to make sure the position is correct. So we want center, center, and we want it to cover, okay? You know what, let me take a look. It looks like they don't have it covering actually. So I'm gonna deselect that and just keep it centered, okay? And we'll go from there. Now for the the font here, we're gonna be using Montserrat, which is closest to what they're using, which is a Sarah Pro. So I'm just gonna go ahead, copy that text, select my header, heading one. Here we go. Incredible meals delivered to your door. We want that color for sure. I think they use this uh, navy color for all of the text and the background colors. So there we go. Changing our font family to Montserrat. Centering it. Changing our color. And I think it's after incredible, right? Just put a space there. Okay, good, it fits right neatly in the middle of the image. So when I selected cover, the image is actually bigger than what you see here. When I selected that cover option, uh, it wanted to shrink it down. And in fact, we don't want that because then it's covering up some of our heading. So the center, center, center was the way to go for that image, okay? Now let's get our button ready. I've selected the box. Centered that. It's orange. This is actually really similar to what we saw with uh, Harry's button. Uh, they like to use the orange color with the rounded edges and everything like that. So firstly, we want Monster App. Uh, we want white text. Yeah, white text is fine. Maybe we'll make it bold. Background. Okay, no. I have the, the block selected still. So make sure you have the button selected. Change the color there. We need to change the text and there's a little bit of padding. So join now and get $60 off. The good thing is we can format the button now and it's going to uh, allow us to just basically duplicate this section and remove what we don't need and maybe change some background colors and things like that. Uh, so, and get $60 off, and get $60 off. 
exclamation. Okay, cool. So now we'll just add some padding on the on every side actually. Button still selected. Here we go. Let's start five percent. Way too much. Mm, that's too much too. Let's see. Why is there such a big difference between two percent? So in this rare case, we might have to actually use exact pixels. Let's just see how we're going here. So 5% looks okay on the left and right. Maybe we'll just... It actually looks okay with no padding on the top and bottom. Uh, they've definitely added something. So... Let's leave it at 2% now to see how we're going. Yeah, that's that's way too big. I'm going to go with maybe 10 pixels, more than that, 25. Yeah, so 25 pixels is around 2%. Let's try 18. And that looks okay. 18. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay. So that's fine. And then, of course, this last bit of text here, we can just copy and paste that in our paragraph. And there we go. So we have our top section. It looks like there's a little bit bigger. Put some padding on the top and bottom. And we'll move on to the next one. Box styles. I like to usually start with 5%, which actually looks pretty good. Looks like a little bit more, actually. Maybe we'll try 10%. Mm, yeah, that, that logo looks like it needs to be bigger too. Okay, I'm not going to go 10%. I'm going to stick with 7% on top and bottom and see how we look. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Because we want to see basically the, the bottom of this wine glass and then the top of that wine glass. Okay, I'm going to make this logo a little bit bigger. See, the next jump is going to be medium, and that's way too big. So we're going to have to use some custom sizes. I think it's bigger than 120, but way smaller than 300. So we'll go custom size. Let's say, uh, let's see. Let's mess around with this a little bit. Let's try 150. 170. 170 by 84. Does that look okay? It looks pretty good. And we'll put a little bit of padding on the bottom of that. Add it to the block, not the image. Yeah, just give a little bit of a gap in between there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we've got everything nice and centered. Oh, I should change my font. Okay, this offer expires soon. Okay, that looks fine. So there's our first section done. The second section, the first thing we'll do because in the previous video, we actually already changed the text color here. So I'm just going to grab the color we need. That nice navy blue. Go ahead and change the background color. Good. Oh, I got to change the text color of this heading too. That's white. And I believe the text is how it works. How it works, we'll make that a heading two. Change the font, center it. Cool, it's actually quite a bit bigger, so let's go ahead and change that. Mm, 36, that looks good. Okay, for this, remember we, we just duplicated the three seconds once we had formatted it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do again. I'm just going to insert this image and duplicate it. First, I'll just put in the the copy here. Choose your meals. There we go. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to remove these two uh, columns and then just duplicate this one once I've got the image in. Uh, what image is that? It's the three. 
menus. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Probably have to customize the size there too, the same way we did with the, with the blue apron logo. But let's just show you the duplication first. So I just select this whole thing, one, two, three. Then it would be super easy just to change the image. Uh, I think the next one was the box, right? Yeah, this one, box of food. Done, and then we do the same for this. Let's see what's, what size we're working with here. Right now we have the medium size image, I believe, or original size. Let's go to small, that's too small. Medium's basically original size, so we would need to customize that as well. Maybe let's try a 250. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just remove these two again and duplicate, duplicate. Okay. And then, of course, like I said, we would change the images and change the copy, and then we'd be good to go on to the next section. Okay. Okay, next section was just a quick heading in here. Montserrat, what did they say? Why you love cooking. Okay, I want to copy that. The color, same as this background. I think by now we've we've uh, started to understand that how to change colors and everything, especially of headings and text. So I'm going to kind of breeze over those parts going forward, but just make sure that you know how to do it. Uh, let's see, 36. Yeah, that looks fine. A little bit of padding. Less than that. Let's go three. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's just literally just a heading in that full section. The next one, uh, let's see. So basket of vegetables, let's find that image. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, now we want that to fit. Okay. Let's see, let's play with the, first I'm going to center it. And then we'll adjust the size of the image itself. Okay. Way too small. Way too small. Let's compare with theirs. Yeah, large looks pretty good. So that's centered on the left. A little bit off-centered, to be honest. It looks like we're doing okay, because that's going to stick over there. And then this text is going to hug this area. Okay. So I'm going to select this row. And we're going to go with center middle text. That'll make sure everything here is good to go. Let's get our heading. Montserrat. As I said, I'm not going to bother changing the color because I believe that you already know how to do that. Copy that. Here we go. Looks like they put a space in there. Change our font. And voila, there we go. Now we just need the color. I believe the color orange is the same as the button, but I didn't write that down. So just have to get right over this divider. Okay, select it. Uh, where are we? Make sure we have the divider selected. Yeah. Change our color. Change our line weight. Looks like theirs is really thin. It might even be two pixels. So we'll keep it at two pixels, see how it looks afterward. You can also change the line color here, but we've changed the text color and the line color, which is the same thing. So, and then we also need it to be smaller. So we need to add padding, okay? Let's add 10%, it's gonna be more than that. Okay, 20% on both sides. 20% both sides, let's just compare that. Okay, maybe 15%. Okay, and that's starting to look better. Aside from, I just didn't change the color of this text, as I mentioned, you know how to do that. So we'll move on with duplicating this section. Okay, so we need one, 
two, three, four. So easy. Make sure it's the section. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to select this row, find our display, flex, do a row reverse. Okay, I don't need it here. And then I need it here. Do another row reverse. And there we are. Okay. Oh, and we wanted to remove the divider off the last one. That's easy enough to do. Move the row. There we go. Okay. Now let's have a look here. Okay. So we want this section with just a heading, the button, and this text underneath. So I, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm just going to duplicate our top section. And it's a lot easier to remove things than it is to add things. So duplicate that. I make sure we've got it, the whole section selected, and I'm just going to drag it down, put it right here, right below that last ro um, row reverse section. First thing, we can start deleting stuff. We don't need that. We can keep the button exactly the same. Oh, we didn't uh, change the, the radius on the button. So if you select it, go to styling, border, add the radius, gives us those nice curved edges. So I'll quickly take care of that on both. And then when we uh, duplicate that again, we won't have to worry about it. Let's see what they got. So ready to start cooking. As I said, we've already got all our formatting ready here. That's the beauty of duplication. Okay, ready to start cooking. We've already got the button. We've already got the same paragraph underneath there. We just need background color. So we'll grab, actually, you know what? This the sections above all that have the same background color as well. So we can quickly apply that. So go here. Go down a background. We don't want an image, so we'll delete that. We'll put it, put in our color. Now each of these sections appear to have the same background color. So that's a quick fix. This, of course, would have been easier as well if I had uh, realized that and we could just duplicate the color on all of them, but that's okay. It doesn't take too long. Let's see, this section does have the same background color as well. Okay. Okay, cool. So we've got those four. What's coming up next? All right, so we don't have the review slider, unfortunately. What we're going to be doing here is just, um, I'll just put an image in there so we still have the nice aesthetic appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna add a section. And I'm literally just going to find that image, and put it in there. Okay, let's make sure that fits. Let's cover that. Let's add some padding so it looks nice. That's fine. Just because I didn't, I want this to look as close as possible to the final product here. Fortunately, we just don't have the ability to uh, implement this feature right now. Okay. So we'll leave that as it is. I'm going to stop here because we're going to do a short video that just does the this whole um, tab section, because it is a little bit finicky, a little bit of a learning curve with that. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.